My name is Dr. Pradeep Merchant. Um, I'm a pediatrician and a neonatologist. Uh, the neonatologists uh, are the specialists who looks after the newborn babies. Um, at the present time, I'm the head of uh, the NICUs at Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario, head of the NICU at the Ottawa Hospital General Campus, as well as the head of special care nursery at the Civic Campus. Um, as uh, Ottawa, we look after close to about 8,000 deliveries in Ottawa Hospital, and uh, we look after close to about 300 babies at the Children's Hospital NICU, so we have a very busy service. See, pregnancy is supposed to be a very happy time for the couple. Uh, but the reason why I am, as a neonatologist, trained to look after the newborn babies is because not all the pregnancies turns out to be a happy time. There are a variety of complications that can occur. And majority of the time, it is either the mom is uh, too young or maybe at a uh, later age in life or mom has some medical complication which could lead to um, either low birth weight babies or either lead to a premature babies. All of them could be pretty dramatic and it could be quite uh, traumatic for both the couple, particularly if the couple is not ready for the pregnancy. And many times uh, for a teenage pregnancy or a young mom, they are not ready to look after themselves, let alone be a premature or a very low birth weight babies, who tends to have uh, quite a variety of issues which needs to be actually taken care of. Either the mom has medical condition leading to it or mom has uh, potential infections which are leading to it, or mom is nutritionally inadequate or has not been looked after adequately through the pregnancy. So for example, a young mom who uh, did not have a good antenatal care, meaning by she had not been able to go to the family practitioner or obstetrician who looks after uh, the mom, then their nutrition hasn't been looked after well through the pregnancy. Uh, they haven't really maintained their weight profile. They haven't really maintained their gain. So they have, haven't had a good counseling through the pregnancy. End product of some of um, those things would be a low birth weight pregnancy. There are many other causes, but to actually simplify that would be one. So for the young mom uh, who has become pregnant, I would say it is easy to become pregnant. But to be a good pregnant mom, it requires a lot of um, uh, control over your desires and what you want to do. That means you need to um, have an adequate nutrition. You need to have a vitamins on board, so that can help you maintain your nutrition. You need to have a folic acid, which is a kind of vitamins, which protects the baby's nervous development. Um, you need to make sure that you have a, a serial examination by your physicians. Um, checking sure that your uh, the baby is actually growing adequately um, inside because some of those things can be then addressed or rectified through intervention and we could actually then do some investigations to help out the mom or we could do a uh, few other intervention to help out the baby altogether so it is important that one gets into healthy uh, lifestyle if you did not have it before The most important step she needs to take is to making sure that she takes care of herself because now it is not only herself, but she's looking after a growing baby who needs to have an adequate amount of nutrition. If she has any other um, habits, uh, and I'll give you an example, that if she was a smoker, she needs to really address that because we all know that smoking has an impact on a pregnancy and eventually on the growth of a baby. Um, there is a lot of research to indicate a, a chronic smoking can lead to a low birth weight infants. Um, if she uh, were to be using, let's say, alcohol or she was drinking, even social drink is considered to be dangerous for the baby because that can have an effect on the baby's development as well as the uh, brain growth and could have a long-term implication of it. Clearly, any kind of uh, uh, illicit drugs are not... Uh, should be considered safely at all and quite often the parents don't know or the young uh, mom may not know and may get into using uh, drugs which definitely would have an impact on the babies as well. All in all, anything and everything which mom takes is going to have an effect on the baby and so making sure that you do not do anything which would harm your baby would be your first goal once you recognize that you're pregnant. Maintaining your good nutrition keeping a good lifestyle of uh, going to bed at appropriate time, waking up appropriate time, and uh, making sure that you get an uh, appropriate counseling in terms of your pregnancy would lead you to have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. After saying all this thing, I do want to tell uh, the young moms out there, um, 
the preg most of the babies actually do extremely well. And the reason why they do extremely well is because we have a very good system in place. That's why a, a specialist like me is actually available in hospital to look after you and look after your babies. Their outcome is actually quite assured. What we are saying is, for me to give you a healthy baby, I need your help. I will do everything possible because I'm trained to do everything possible to help your babies. But if you help yourself and help your babies before the deliveries, it makes my life and my job a lot more easier. And you would have a healthy baby at the end of, um, as a return.